All right, everybody, welcome. Uh, today, we are doing undead only. They're not all technically actually undead, but we're basically only going to be using ghost, sorry, zombie cricket from here, um, ghost kitten, skeleton dog, uh, vampire bat, um, team spirit, and zombie fly. So those are going to be the six things. All food is allowed. You are allowed a sloth. Anything goes in the shop phase. And I'm going to be rolling... Yeah, I just want some of those, really. I think... I don't know what the best thing to do here is, because I'm going to be waiting for pills, I think. I could just go for the combination, but I'm probably just going to hold on to these, because they're already crickets. If I went for that guy instead, I would I would maybe go for the combo, because at least I get something out of selling it, but I'm probably going to hold on to these. If I can find a third, then I can, <laughs> I can buy all of them and get a slightly bigger zombie cricket. Please? One more? No. Okay. Alright. Someone got a turn one ghost kitten. Crabsy. Very impressive. Actual dream starts? <laughs> Damn. Oh yeah, fly is bugged, you're right. Okay, so for anyone that doesn't know, fly at the moment, it will not summon a zombie fly right in if there's only one space open. Like if something dies and your whole board is full, then it won't summon a new one. You have to have two spaces for it to actually summon it in for some reason. So yeah, something to keep in mind if we get to the end of the game and you actually go for it. Ghost kitten, yay! I kind of want to just buy, <laughs> buy food for it. Oh, and then of course I run into another one. Um, I get the Lima. That's probably like an easy win for a few rounds. Can't keep it, obviously, but like, you know, having garlic on this guy, I like it. And I'm going to stick with just going for a single cricket, I think. If I find the pill, I'm pilling it, but... Otherwise, I think I just stack stats on here. Oh, they both. I've destroyed them, but yeah. All right, stoats. I will risk it. Spider. I mean, I could potentially pill it into that. I don't know if it's, if I find a pill, if I'd rather put it on there. Pill me. Nah, okay, we just buy the apple again. Um, I'm, I'm just leaving the cricket. <laughs> like, we didn't manage, manage to find a pill in the first two turns of pills being able to show up, so... If the stars align and we roll a pill and another cricket at the same time, then great, but otherwise we're just looking for... Extra ghost kittens, skeleton dogs, and... I guess late game stuff. Vampire bat and team spirits. <laughs> you don't know what half the pets do. To be fair, I've never really used ghost kitten yet. I do want to. Like, I'm sure there's some really interesting stuff you could do with this and like... Like, giving it blueberries, maybe? I feel like this is one of the only pets where that's actually a good idea. So I do want to try that. And of course my toy breaks the instant I can, like, fill a pangolin. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy that again. Um, I don't think I'm gonna hold on to these, though, because I really do need to find more stuff for my squad. Okay, freeze that in case there's another pill. Yay! Okay. It's getting very big. It's very top-heavy, but... I don't mind it too much. And I think I'm going to buy the Capybara next turn and then roll a ton. Because if I can just roll into one thing, then it's probably worth it. But if I roll into multiple, then it's very worth it. Ghost Kitten honestly has such an interesting ability. Yeah. Like, take three de yeah. take three less damage from abilities, and it goes up to nine at level three. Like, just imagine this going against a, um, a Lionfish, say. Like, a, a level three 50 attack Lionfish. Its ability would do no damage to the Ghost Kitten. You know, like, that's, that is crazy. 10-7 kid with garlic, how did that happen? I pilled a better fish, and I gave it a couple of apples a while ago. Can't remember if I did anything else, but I feel like that's probably most of it. Don't want to cheat, is honey legal? Uh, yeah, any equipment is fine. You can't actually run a bee, though. I don't know whether to do anything with this pill. I think I'll hold on to it. I'm going to risk stoats, and I... Uh... Yeah, fine. Gonna get less value out of my rolling by doing this, but... Fine. Skeleton dog! Yay! Okay, let's just grab that. Because now we can actually scale you as well. Um, do I want the pill frozen still, or no? Probably not. If I can roll into pear, then I'd prefer that. Like, if I do find blobfish, then yes, but... Yeah, otherwise I think we just wait. Does it work like the other pet where it doesn't break melon if it gets hit, but takes no damage? I don't know. Again, I haven't actually used the pet enough to know. I do know what you're talking about, though. Like, I know the Nurikabe 
I think it's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, I, I do think that that works, as you said, but I'm not sure about this guy. Killing a dog should give you a skeleton dog. That sounds like it'd be a great, like, April Fool's thing. Or for Halloween, maybe. If you ever do anything meme -y. I want to freeze the lobster, but I don't have anything to buy. Uh, same here. Could potentially use this or the best fish. Or just buy salad bowls. I think just getting stats is fine, so... Probably going to be keeping these for a long time. And you know what? I think we freeze that again. And stoked. Yes, yeah, so there is Vampire Bat here. So if that shows up, you could grab it. Um, it's mostly just there for the stats, really, because I don't think anyone's going to be gaining... <laughs> the ailments in fights and yes i am aware that vampire bat isn't actually an undead thing but it has vampire in the name so i, I think it's fair you know like we got ghost skeleton zombie why not a vampire oh you have a vampire bat with toilet paper you're right i completely forget that toys can give weakness to stuff yeah my ghost cat is just shredding everyone complete stomp dog dog You know, I never realized how scary that ghost cat sound is. <laughs> okay. Um, keep keep pumping this. I'm gonna hold on to the pair, but very now we have this. And I could buy a cappy bar and then roll really hard. I will be repositioning my team, by the way, but yeah, anyway, I think we're fine. So I want something like this. Like these two are staying. These two make make get combined into the other ones. So I think this is my order, even though it does mean that, I don't know, my carry's right at the back. So I don't know, I can move that like right to the back next turn, maybe. I just want to get some extra stats like where I know I'll use them. Is buy selling a wyvern worth it when you have a level ready? It depends if there's something you really want. Because for the most part I'd say no, but like it ups your chances of finding the thing you want by like 50%. So, you know, if you're not at risk of dying or something, then I have gone for it before. I mean, I went for it in today's video, actually. Like buying a wyvern that I didn't need just to like, see an extra option. A skeleton dog, love it. I could combine them all together actually. Because like if I find the team spirit soon, then that'd be very nice. And it gives me a good reason to um send you right to the back. Yeah, let's let's do that. Okay. Okay, well I didn't find it. <laughs> um freeze tap it, we can always pill that again. I'm gonna put you there. And we did find a pill immediately, and I also have this ready. Stoat doesn't seem very useful. Yeah. Yeah, we don't use a stoat. Um, I could freeze fairy or something and then replace it when that pops, but I think I'm just going to buy a mana potion for this turn. Mana potion, send you to the front. And then we can buy a load of this next turn. And does Team Spirit count? Yes. Yeah, we discussed it before the, the game started, and yeah, Team Spirit and Vampire Bat are allowed. And it's a bit close. Oh. <laughs> okay. Nice. Alright, don't have more levels for the clownfish, but we have this, which is great. So throw that down. Do want Stingray? I'm pretty tempted to just kind of hold on to a lot of the rest. Yeah, we're <laughs> definitely Stingraying over that. But no, I'll, I'll pill you. I'm gonna roll instead of buying another Mana Potion, though. And that's pretty nice. I don't know whether I combine this Ghost Kitten before I start by selling, though. I could just combine everything into the Ghost Kitten, but then Skeleton Dog's not gonna be hitting two things, but it does mean I'm not wasting these, and I'd rather just have a team full of team spirits, so yeah. Decided to risk it, not sure if it was worth it. I could go for one of those as well, but I think... Yeah, no, okay, this is kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, so next turn we can buy Fly, Tap It, and Pill, and when I pill the Tap It, it should summon... I I'm hoping it'll be fine, but it should summon one of those two, and then I should get the Zombie Fly as well. So this should be okay. I'm not sure. You can only buy one of those. You can't. You can't buy both fly and the tap it. Oh, because they're connected. You're right. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess I'm buying the fly. But then I have to pill something for no reason. Roll to see if there's something slightly nicer to pill. Yeah, the anglerfish. I think that's good. Oh, no, this guy. Always this guy. Okay, just don't hit the fly, please. Incredible stuff. <laughs> okay, well, buy this as well. Let's just try and get something else on the team. Okay. Don't think we need the pills anymore. Not sure whether I rearrange for the flashlights. I think I won't. 
Yeah, I think I'm just going to run it like this. May freeze that, though. I mean, we're still doing fine. Yeah, I just need Team Spirits. I can maybe survive just with the stuff I have and by selling random other stat things, but Team Spirits would be very nice for getting a lot of stats. Oh. <laughs> I should have bought and sold this first. I wasn't expecting something good. Um, I guess I can combine there, because it's, it's still very much worth just having this out. Now, what am I doing? Now I don't know if I'm going to find a pill. Okay, Mongoose is fine as well, but... Freeze these. I don't really know if the crow's worth it, though. And we did find a pill. Perfect. On to you. Yes! Okay. Alright, that's very nice. Um, I could just play the vampire bat, but... I want a team spirit. <laughs> I want the other guy. Let's do that for now. I mean, good peanut value, so... Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> Sorry, Sky. Oh, cow. Cat cow, I am in love. I can't get tons of value, but it's, it's pretty nice. Alright, let's try and make you really survivable. I know the cat's not working anymore, but it's fine. Keep pumping everything on there. I'm just going to buy sell this now as well. I would very much like to have another thing on my team. But, again, I had the specific thing that I wanted, so I'm holding out hope that we can find it. And you know what? Freeze the mammoth as well. I can, I can maybe pill that. So, flashlight is going to hit that. I don't love it, but if I have the skeleton dog any further back, then we don't get the permanent stats from this anyway, so... It's, it's probably better to leave it as it is. You know, always going for the most difficult pets to get. What do you mean? Well, I mean, to be fair, the zombie fly is kind of annoying to get, but I had a good setup for it. Uh, most of the other stuff I just haven't been able to find. I've seen a few vampire bats, but... Yeah, just zombie... Not zombie. Team spirit, just give me that. One. Yo, I'm loving these stingrays. <laughs> they are always showing up when I need... All right, another one of those. If I sell these for some money. And maybe just throw this to the front for now. Just for some extra stats on something. And you know what? I, I could maybe stack that there. I think we do that next turn. No, we'll just do it now. Still didn't find what I mean. <laughs> it's fine. No. No, I refuse. I don't care. You don't get to buff something. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Pill or good food? Either. Joke's on you, I got rid of Team Spirit. Definitely feels that way. The thing is, I don't need it at all, because I'm getting plenty of stats just by, like, buy-selling cows and zebra and stuff. But, damn, I, I've been sticking to this for so long, I refuse to not find it. <laughs> these, these stats are just so inefficient if I don't have four things. You're also pretty nice to pill. What are people running? There's a lot of melon. Okay, I'm going to unfreeze you and freeze you instead. And I guess I'll freeze that as well. Tomato, no. I could pill an eagle, but again, I need the pills for that. <laughs> no. Pill, yes. Okay. So I can also buy cornucopia here. Which I will do, I think. What happened? I it, like insta-clicked skip. Oh my god. This is awful. Uh, <laughs> Wait, is this going to be our first loss? No, we're fine. Not a win, though. Our first draw, maybe? <laughs> Since, like, the start of the game. Alright, Peach Immortality is kind of cool. Uh, we're definitely just pilling Walrus here, though. So yeah, do that. So that's going to go into one of these two. Can't hit the same thing. I will do this. And I think I maybe freeze Speech of Immortality, because... I mean, I buy this one keep the cat frozen. That's fine. <laughs> okay, I think the next time a Vampire Bat shows up, I just buy it. I need another thing on this team, because I'm, I'm wasting the Skeleton Dog. And yeah, let's have a little look at the teams. See, they have Team Spirits. Everyone is Team Spirits. Okay. It's fine though. I'm still I'm still large. And that's all I really need. A large team. Yep. 
yeah, I mean, it's working. I just need to get HP on everything. <laughs> One of these. Another zombie dog or skeleton dog. Yeah, fine. Like we need, we need something. So put you there. Um, I'm actually just gonna buy the cat and this, and then sell it again. Mongoose. It's a good toy. Mammoth is also good to pill, but then Oris and no. Um, I actually do still do it that way because you're gonna be buffing three things anyway. Maybe even further back. We can maybe do this. I don't think that's too bad, because then I can prioritize this for a lot of the stats too. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, these peanuts are massive. I'm not gonna win here though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 100 100 peach for Behemoth. All amazing dreams. Alright. Um, I'm just going to get the scaling, because we're still doing okay. I do see Vampire Bat, but I already have my my fourth thing, and I still do want the slot open, because I can still buy, sell, and stuff here. I could buy this for a turn, maybe. Like, it doesn't hurt. So the thing is, there's also you. Like, I kind of want to pill a turtle onto this, but... That is a scary sound. Ooh, and this is... Nah, stick with the dog. We've already invested a bit into it. So just lock into there. I was thinking it'd be better to have the Ghost Kitten because that does kind of have a better ability. If people are running tomatoes, then a backline Ghost Kitten could potentially survive things. But yeah, just going to run that back there now, see if I can turn a potential draw into a win or loss into a draw. Um, It's going to be versus Popcorn, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> Not dead. Nukinovid, 50-50 Peach. It would take so long to get there. Alright. Who do we... Yeah, I just keep pumping you, I think. And... I I don't know if this is ever worth it. <laughs> like, is there a reason to try and get this thing to level 3? How many people are doing any sorts of snipes? Where is that? Some people do have Vampire Bats, so if they also have um the toy that gives weakness, then maybe... But for the most part, I don't think it's really needed, so I'm going to keep rolling for pills and, like, better... Yeah, better scaling stuff. And, nah, eh, Durian isn't too bad. It's better than some things, but... Nah. <laughs> keep rolling. Show me a pill. Zebra, yes. Pill, yes. Leave the tap here. Um, that's a very nice shot for next turn, though. I can't end on another undead thing. Unless I kept that frozen, but, yeah, again, I don't really care about leveling the things I have anymore. The team spirit, it would have been cool. Oh, that's awful. That was an awful first trade. I had one more attack. Alright. So, combine you into there. Um, let's get the extra extra peanuts first. See where that goes. Alright, don't mind that. I think. I can probably still do mongoose just for the scaling more than anything. So yeah, get the television. Keep you frozen. Love that. Oh, dude, the stats. So the only sad part about this is that I am rapidly approaching 50-50 on a couple of these, and once I hit that, although these might be able to dodge it, this will not, and neither will this. We will definitely start, like, losing some value there. But we're basically at the end of the game, so I may not have to worry too much about it. This, though, like, look at these. Look at these teams. What's the best equipment to put on a panther? It depends on the sort of team you're running, but yeah, I, I don't know. Lemon, maybe? Because I think that would let you block for like 21 damage twice or something. Or more, I don't know. Oh, okay, good night, e -dub. Oh no, good evening. Good evening. Sorry, my chat box is really tiny and I cannot see. Yeah, I don't care about that. We just, we just buy. Okay, well that one's 50-50 now, so we are going to be... Stop hitting the big ones! Hit the babies! Oh my god, okay. Don't hit the babies in real life, chat. That's that's just for the game. Alright, another skeleton dog. Throw you down there. Uh, wait. What the front? Does that matter? Just throw it to the back. Like, it, it, a lot of this just doesn't really matter anymore. Do that, maybe. Yeah. 
Don't hit baby Skino. It's fine. There's no babies in hitting reach for me. That's gonna be a loss. No, he has enough HP. Damn, I'm upset they snipe my backline though, because otherwise that could have been okay. <laughs> but the 1-1 one, one buff. I'm combining them together. Team Spirit finally turned 22. He's shown up. My dream thing. Alright. <laughs> he took his time, but I'm ready. Woohoo. Welcome. We're done by selling. He stays. I'm rolling the pair. Okay. So when that pops, I definitely want to shuffle something else to the front. I still like where that is. That's fine where it is. Um, getting equipment is going to be annoying. I'm going to have to use Cornucopia because I can't just like pill turtles or Boris anymore. Ooh, I'm glad I was big enough to survive that. And yeah, that's going to be a loss. Okay, fair. Fair. Top five though. And still a couple of HP to play with. Um, okay, so yeah, so leveling this does get us something there. It's not going to be a lot, though, because it's only going to be buffing those two, <laughs> and... Yeah, it's only level 1, but honestly, it's better than nothing, so I should probably just grab that. And the war is... Yeah, like, I don't... I mean, maybe... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> God, this is awful. I already put stats on there, but I, I need actual equipment. This thing has not been getting good trades. Okay, so we are going to be not buffing something right to the back, but that's fine. And, I mean, this is all still great stats. Okay, so put you at the front. Um, I mean, do it that way. I don't know. We're going to be wasting the stuff on there, so I pro probably should have swapped those two around, but it doesn't make a huge difference, I think. Yeah, see, I need, I need like, five peanut things to beat these. Everyone's teams are too big. And very nutty. Alright, so you got that. I'm going to keep investing in stats, but it's not what's going to save us. Why do I have the chocolate frozen? What was that for? Alright, so... I mean, still just you, really. It's a little bit wasted on the other one. Hey, I can't end on a full team! Nice! Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Hooray, Team Spirit! <laughs> oh my god, there's so much XP. Okay, well... We're done either way, I'm not touching any of the rest of this. I could try and level that up and then get some stats, but like... Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Full circle, yep, I got my dream team. <laughs> exactly where we want to be. Should have swapped my two front dogs again, I think, but... Yeah, again, it, it really doesn't make too big of a difference. And we actually win against this team. Yeah! Okay. Top four, still going. There's hope for an actual good game. Team Spirit, woo. Um, give one pet durian, reduce most healthy enemy before attacking. So yeah, it has to be at the front, which I will not be doing with this. I'll also be leaving you there for that now. I will swap those two around. And I don't know, I could get honey or something. I'd rather a banana if I can find it. Oh, okay, we can just do both of these. Okay, so if I can level up one of these two now, then we do get some actual team spirit value, but it's just these two that aren't basically capped out. So either way, it's not that impressive. Let's see. Okay, having to double trade, not great. <laughs> Definitely gonna be dead. Yeah. Okay, so the, the coconuts definitely beat peanuts, fair enough. But yeah, I think with this order I would have been screwed either way, so... Yeah, fair enough. I'll take top four. Good game, guys. GG's. GG's. Alright, everybody, welcome. We're doing a nature-only lobby today. So basically, when <laughs> when you end your turn, you can only have Tree, Mandrake, and Rootling. Um, these are all new pets that came in the Unicorn Pack, but yeah, we're doing a custom pack at the moment. All food is allowed, Soth is allowed as well. Anything goes in the shop phase, you can buy, sell, pill, whatever, as long as you only have these three on your team when you end your turn. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be looking for to start. Yeah, you're as good as any. I like rolling for these guys. Okay, and yeah, we're the saucy fangirls. Perfect. Scale not good with tree. 
it's good for the until a point because <laughs> even at level three uh yeah the tree still caps out at like 18 attack i think and then it won't be able to get its shield but surely at a certain point it's better to just have that anyway and i'm gonna keep looking for these guys yeah there we go okay so we can do a combo next turn not too bad youth of water makes it a nature thing i should probably freeze it again actually yeah if I roll into another one. But at least I can keep it frozen down here until I do find it. Hello, gingerbread. Alright. Okay, so I didn't find anything useful. Um, I'm going to freeze you instead. Hey, there we go. No, I didn't want a pill. <laughs> I wanted the, the youth water. I'm rolling. Assuming I even have it in pack. I do. Hold on to it. We're trying that. It's a one in five, but we'll we'll try. Thought kicking was the thing. It is at the start. Like when f when people first join, you can kick them before the game starts, but there isn't an option to kick once you're actually going. And come on, one water. Yes. Uh, now I can't afford it. <laughs> oh, whatever. Okay. You know what? Yeah, just have a free roll for next turn. There's like a tiny little bit of value out of that. Oh, and pilling spiders, you're right. I always forget, I add so many things to these packs, but then I don't look at the pack for like a week and then I forget what sort of strategies I thought of. <laughs> yeah, I, I maybe should've just been going for that, but at the same time, I feel like I got a bit unlucky in not being able to find the, the water. Okay, good. Still max HP. Went against another <laughs> unlucky person. Okay, so please, any any green friends. I'll take a 1-1. One, one. I could potentially pill that on something, and I will. That does work, right? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> there we go. So we have that there. Don't think I need to touch any of the rest of this. I'll not be buying another one to pill, but... Tree's pretty nice to have. Like, that's probably one of the stronger ones for a fight. Yeah, assuming it has some extra attack, then it's pretty nice. And again, other people have <laughs> much larger ones than I do. Yeah. Okay, potentially three cheaters, or maybe they just forgot to sell. I don't know, is, is the play just get like a full team of <laughs> rootlings? Is that the actual strat? Because Mandrake would be nice to have just because it's kind of early and has a decent stat line to begin with. No. Um, this guy has good equipment, but only up to a certain size, and then he's basically going to do nothing. But at least the Rootless will always like be growing. I'm going to do that. I'm almost have to get a, a Lima, but that doesn't make any sense. And you know what? Freeze Capybara. Don't bother with it this turn. Yeah, I'll buy another one of these. Yeah, don't bother with it this turn, but I can buy that next turn and then go a little bit crazy, maybe. Or, wait, what's the default stats on these? End turn, give two friends with less health than this, plus one, plus one. So actually, if I wanted to use rootless scaling, then it'd be a bit annoying to try and keep it the same. I don't know, though. I don't, I don't think I try and replace that. I think if I can find, like, three rootless, then we can just play them all, and then they'll just keep buffing each other up. And I can just, like, you know, break the equalizers with random food sometimes. Broccoli for days. What are you throwing it on? I need more attack for this guy. I need him to actually be able to get a good trade. Because, like, with that other team, I just ran into a fairly small thing, but it had garlic. And it was not great for me. And, yeah, that's, that's very much not nature. I don't know what's happening. We've had, like, no cheaters all day, and then lots of issues in this one. Hello, Cyclops. Um, let's just like leave everything. I'll get the food. I can buy sell that for free. And then I don't know. Buy the avocado. I want to buy one of these before I start rolling, but I don't think I go for both because I'd have to sell it again by the start of the next turn. Maybe should have got grapes. The extra money would be nice. I'd probably keep it for a while. They've got one of each. I'm slightly stronger, but I'm also already on lower HP. Alright. 
Let's buy it. Show me. Yes, we got a guy. Um, roll the stoat. I still want to get some extra capybara value, so I'm going to keep rolling in the hopes that I find something. We found another tree. Roll twice more. Kind of magic. Um, I can't buy both, but I think... Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so if I buy other rootling, neither is going to be very big. So, start with tree. Start with tree, unfreeze you. We're definitely running double rootling. And probably triple tree. And I want to put the pairs on the rootlings. I need to try and keep these guys at a higher, higher HP than my trees. Yeah, two friends with less HP. So even if this one's scaling, I can just keep buffing this and I'll buff these two. So like, there's still something there. Congrats on being streamer of the year, probably. Oh, thank you. I also just assumed that I got it, so I haven't checked. <laughs> okay, yeah, this team's looking pretty good. This is the trees. The trees are carrying, but if we can get the scaling popping off. Alright, so if I put both of these here, then they're both going to buff those. Which for a turn is fine, but then I'd need to scale these again for them to do anything. So I don't know if that's the play or not. Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's, it's for like a turn. Um, Don't really want a gingerbread man. You're fine. You're actually going to have too much attack. Hmm. Well. Oh, no. What? Oh, so one of them didn't trigger onto this. Ah, I assume they'd trigger like at the same time, but I guess it doesn't work that way. Is the lobby plants only? Yeah, we're doing all like the nature pets. So there's Rootling, Tree, and Mandrake. This guy. We're somehow still fine. Alright, just let me buy random stats for these two, please. Or we'll get them leveled up. That would also be very nice. More targeted than that, please. <laughs> that isn't an apple. Okay, a cow's pretty nice. I may combine trees here. It will take me over the six, but I could... Yeah, no, because we can do that anyway. Alright, so I'm going to stack into this one. Into the big one. Rooting my Drake tree tree. I may hold on to that, because, I don't know, I definitely want the rootling. No, we can afford it, okay. So, pump that. We want another rootling. We did not find another rootling, but whatever. And I don't know if I want to play that. I guess I can, because there's only two targets anyway. And yeah, we definitely want to try and get extra HP on this. And I don't have carrot in the pack, so this is probably okay. Accidentally sold the level 3 Bloodfish from the Griffin you sold. Oof. He's got 22 HP. He's also dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... Damn. That was like a great setup. They just didn't survive long enough to make it work. Alright. So I, I would rather have more Rootlings. I want to combine the trees, but we only won that fight because... I had so many trees. So I don't know. Yeah. I think I do just need another rootling, so I'm going to stack down there. It's already broken anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I think we just keep rolling. I think... Yes, we can do that. I'm looking at the Warus as well, and that could be kind of interesting. I think we freeze it. I'm going to leave Cornucopia. More chocolates, always. Okay, so neither of these... Well, sorry, that one's working. This one won't be. You're still buffing stuff, and you're buffing that one at least. So, I mean, there's still something going on. Yeah. We're good. It's actually a strong team. Keep pushing. To the top, please. Still two cheetahs alive. I'll try and have a look at them in a minute. Um, yeah, we're going to level one of the rootlings, I think. So, let's get the already higher HP one up there. Want as much chocolate at the ready as possible. So we can do that. Um, Mongoose is fine as a buy sell. I could maybe freeze a tapit pill, but we already have a pill target here. And I either level the tree or I try and get the other rootling up. Or I can just get this to level three immediately and buff up these two. But I think I'm just going to. Oh, I put in the tree. Like I'm not going to get rid of these. It'd be too difficult. Freeze that. Get rid of you. 
And yeah. Okay. Okay, this is pretty nice. If I can just get you slightly ahead of this one, then <laughs> things will maybe be happening. I need to replace this equipment. That's what I need to do. Because I'm just like losing out on attack. Because like, yeah, it's scaling, uh, scaling itself, but it's only scaling HP. And if I let this scale it instead, then yeah, we tend to gain more. It replaced. Wait, that was actually kind of worse for me, though. Okay. I'm still buying this chocolate, though. Like, <laughs> I still want all this stuff. All right, do that. Um, I mean, I can mongoose, maybe, but... Hmm. Keep you going. I'm not going to combine. And honestly, I think I'm just going to take the stat thing here. Television. Like, we're still on 2 HP. We can maybe survive. That's a level. Um, probably should freeze Cornucopia here. Yeah, we don't have stat food. Alright, more stats. If I saw Stoke, probably won't work out too well. But yeah, you're now very good compared to the other things. So that's nice. Accidentally merged two level twos. Oh no. Oh damn. We still win, but <laughs> actually you almost got countered by a golden egg. Broccoli for front tree would go hard. It would, but I'm just kind of embracing that I'm not going to be using these soon. Um, do I build Warus? Like, you're almost over the thing anyway. It did see the, those, that's pretty good. I just don't want it to hit that one as much, because... The thing. I, I have jinxed myself so much today. This is just... Amazing. I love it. <laughs> Another cornucopia? Why not? Compato pancakes. We'll take some pancakes. Um, let's stop you from scaling now. And I probably should have just leveled that up immediately now that I'm looking at it, but we can do it next turn. Don't think pepper's really necessary. And I also don't really want to put that at the front, because if other people are running trees, then I imagine that's when I'd run into them. Cheetah's got me bad. You're doing good, Kino. I need to check them out again, then. Yeah, because I don't think I've run into the cheaters yet. Or the big ones. I've run into what I assume was accidental cheating. Oh, what's it going to be? Okay. <laughs> it actually just summoned another one. Yeah, if it summoned anything that had extra summons after it, then that would have been a problem. Okay, so let's try and get a load of stats out here. So you're now level 3. Oh, first time getting a level 3. Nice. If I sell you, probably buy sell this. Alright, and I'm going to keep this frozen. And do you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to I'm gonna freeze double Warus instead. And maybe take a questing beast. I can maybe buy-sell the stoat first, and maybe it'll turn into a questing beast. Or this. That's kind of it in terms of helpful things, but I can maybe freeze the pair. If it turns into a cat, then there's still value there. But yeah, these guys are not going to be working anymore. They are both already too high attack. For like, even level 3. They're just, like, irredeemable. I'd have to buy a lot of broccoli to keep them in line. Well, I'm glad they traded normally. Nice, okay. It's looking good. And I'm, I'm doing this anyway, I want to see what it turns into. <laughs> if I roll and I find a pill, then I can buy both of these, get it to level 2 and pill it immediately. So let's just take a chance. It wasn't. I will continue to roll a bit because I would very much like to have a pill for this. Please. Please. Yay! Value! <laughs> okay. And now I have all these frozen, so if I wanted, I can get peanuts on everything. Which, honestly, I'm probably going to end up doing. I just need to find a pill. But next time we buy sell these. And you know what? Yeah, do it this way. I don't think anyone's going to be having active trees anymore, really. Am I ever going to do achievement hunts again? Uh, probably. I mean, I'm just not doing it right now because, like, I'm I'm passively getting achievements just by playing because I still haven't used half of the new pets yet. Oh, they actually had a protective thing. All right, one HP. Keep it going. I think this is fine. Alright, so let's buy sell these. 
Oh, the questing beast ray isn't it though. I'm on one HP. I was looking at it and I was like, oh yeah, this is great, but it's it's really not. It's really not that good. Okay, kind of bad hit. Um, also kind of a bad hit, but at least this is still bigger than two of them. And I, I still don't want to buy any of this. Like, I can buy random equipment here, but buying the random equipment is just bad if I ever find a pill. So, sure, Stingray. Stingray, I'm just going to go for the flashlight again, and I could try here, but... Yeah, I think we're mostly done with most of this stuff. Level 2 Warwars goes hard. It would if I could find a pill. Okay, this is pretty good. Nice! Not dead. Sadly, I can't say the same for Aaron there, though. <laughs> Alright, I don't know whether to just hard roll for a pill or if I do go for these stats. I want the stats. But yeah, like, this, this guy just isn't working how I want him to. Um, I could give him the pair, and then he does trigger right away. But, like, that's going to trigger next turn anyway. But, yeah, we'll, we'll try and keep him, like, afloat. Another tree? I don't think so. I love the cow, because that's a lot of extra extra HP for you. Um, and I'm going to shuffle everything. It doesn't really make a difference, but let's do it. If you keep that guy up, you'll do well, to be honest. Yeah, it is difficult, though, because every, you know, he's level 3, so every time he triggers, he's going to be adding another 3-3 three, three to the stuff, so it's very hard to keep him higher than them. But, you know, maybe. This thing's going to help out a lot. The toy. As is cow, so yeah, we buy. Throw those there, give it a cow again. And please, a single pill anywhere. Hmm. Cornucopia? I mean, if I do find a melon, then it could be helpful on either of those. Just until <laughs> until I get this. Um, nah, we, we take pizza. Take pizza and just roll. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, it is big stats. We are growing pretty fast. And I don't see any cheetahs. So I guess the cheetahs did get killed at some point. Well, they swamped? I don't know. I see one of them there. Okay, these peanuts are just crushing people. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually a little bit close, because we almost double traded and lost, but... Yeah, if I can get the other peanuts on the team, and then just some other random thing to leave at the back, then we're going to be in a great spot. And I don't trust Cornucopia anymore. Please, a pill. Any pills? Chocolate? No? <laughs> I don't want a cresting beast. I need actual um, toys if I'm going to do that. Like, these these guys just aren't it. Pill, next turn. Okay. Survive one turn, and then everything will have peanuts, and then I won't need to buy sell anymore, and I can fill in my final slot with some garbage, tiny, like, mandrake. And that will be the dream. Ooh, that's really bad. I'm not going to get to do it, no. <laughs> Oh, it was so close. Ah, we got top four, though. Yeah, I'll take top four. We, I think we were actually really close to being able to win there, though. Because two more peanuts there and then a final back line, that would have just been it. But, yeah. Oh, well. Still a good effort, so GG's. Good game.